there is another very important psychological thing that comes up in young males and females wherein in their adolescent or early adolescence age they do feel attracted to their parents of the opposite gender and that attraction is not understood creates a lot of confusion again and generates a lot of guilt and shame in them which is unexpressed ununderstood and as a consequence it leads to some issues later on in adulthood could you please elaborate on that doctor <laughs> it is very interesting you have asked this question it's a great question sigmund freud or earlier psychological concepts there was something called oedipus complex and there was something called electra complex mm -hmm. now if you try and read a little bit on that part of the story it is not difficult to understand what you just described that in every family a um, father and a daughter and mother and the son a kind of attractions are there however let me give you in a very simple terms every person in terms of psychology is functioning on the basic principle of safety security satisfaction and you know my gratifications like child's need is to get food why is he crying that's the question now therefore you go one step backwards and try and understand that within the womb of the mother he is so comfortable he doesn't have to do anything it's a warm little dark you know kind of swimming pool where mother eats he gets food mother breathes he gets what will happen if he remains there for 8 months 9 months he will become lazy <laughs> let's put it that way that if he has to cover out of his that body you know he has to breathe he has to eat he has to do everything on his own when the doctor comes yes. and he clips that then he is independent physically not emotionally yes. Yes. now his basic need at that time is only one food survival now therefore he cries because that is only mode of communication and whenever if you notice the infant's cry everybody is thinking in two two things one either he has passed urine or potty or he is hungry all mothers young mothers everyone thinks like this practically so what happens the mother will feed so obviously the child breastfeeding is done and therefore it's bound to it's a source of food for the child which gives him gratification now this is a psychological understanding where why boy develops bonding no every child bonds with the mother that change which you are saying that attraction on opposite side it develops little later why because if you go by what archetypal thought process is the male and female component mm -hmm. the role of male was providing and protecting and role of female was nurturing and nourishing yes all right now of course in the current generation the roles are fused mm -hmm. so things are becoming different mm -hmm. but by and large it is the emotional component is presumed to be more on the female child gender and male gender it is considered as intellectual needs or safety needs security needs so the man child is going to be attracted towards the mother because she is the one who is providing food simple these are primary instinctual phenomena while the father is a secured person he provides the security but a strict or punitive father creates fear yes if you notice not only the children the parents also have that issue bete ko daant sakte hain beti ko nahi daatenge this is no is a known socio cultural patterns so every house has got these issues but they overcome once they grow up and they are on their own thought process they learn 
but till then in early days of it is still the basic gratification of food protection these are the issues where 